Hi, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I received a letter from somebody in email today that really got me thinking of how to respond to this person. And because I wanted to respond carefully and sensitively, um, as I was thinking on how to reply, I decided to make it into a video in case anybody else is in this type of situation. Of course, I will not mention the person's name, but only the general situation, um, which is very common with a lot of people being affected by narcissists within the family. Um, basically, <clears throat> this person wants to establish and maintain a relationship with relatives, young relatives, um, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, whatever. Um, and isn't really sure how to do this without engaging the narcissist's attack, which this poor person has gone through for a long, long time, as many of you have. And I have some things to say about that. Number one, there is no way. <laughs> There's no way to stay in touch with your younger relatives, your nieces, your nephews, um, stepchildren, whatever, if there is a narcissist in control. Unfortunately, it's not a happy answer. It's not the one you want to hear, but it's just the truth. There's no way to engage with the younger children if there is a narcissist in charge of them and legally who has custody of them. Um, I know this firsthand from some situations in my own life. You can only see the children when the narcissist decides or if you happen to be in a place where the children are, then you can see them. So you trying to establish a relationship with the children is going to be futile. It's only going to upset you and discourage you and make you even more depressed and anxious than you are already. So I don't suggest you opening your heart to that possibility because you're only going to be hurt. If you do get to see the children, um, be thankful for those moments in time and enjoy every moment that you get with them but if not you really need to just erase it from your mind yes i'm saying almost pretend you don't know the children as hurtful as that sounds and as painful as that is and i know it is that is the only way to preserve your sanity and yourself and guard your heart because those children are not your children they belong to the narcissist unfortunately and as unfair as that is and evil as that is it is the truth you have no say in anything that happens with them. As far as being involved with your older relative, your adult relatives, that is up to them. You cannot force your way into somebody's life. You cannot force your advice into somebody's life. You can give advice, but that doesn't mean they have to take it. They are legal adults. They have the right to make their own decisions. And after reading this letter that was sent to me, I realized this person has a very tender heart and revealed an awful lot of themselves to this person and uh, the other person involved. And I can only tell you that most likely the narcissist is sitting there either putting you down or laughing at you and saying, oh brother, she's so dramatic or he's so dramatic. I can't believe they're taking it this far. They'll make you out to look like you're crazy. So don't expect them like normal minded human adults to be sitting there and saying, oh gee, I didn't know we hurt her that way or him this way. I don't didn't realize that they took it like that. Gee, I, I guess we should call them and try to make things right. It's not going to happen. Um, don't kid yourself. Don't fool yourself. Don't waste your time writing letters revealing um, that you're dealing with your mental illnesses or that you're finally in a stable place. They don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. If you're in a stable place, they will knock you down. Um, and if you're not in a stable place, they're pointing at you and saying you're crazy. You have to get to a place where you stop trying to think that the narcissist sees things in a normal, balanced way. Because they just don't, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more in my head here of this letter that I have. Yeah, you're pretty much telling them that you're sure of who you are and you like who you are. They don't care. Um, they don't care if you got help with your issues. They don't care that you love your relatives, young or old. They don't care if you have disorders. Um, they don't care. 
they don't want a relationship with you they never wanted a relationship with you and the loved one that they poisoned against you that loved one has to come to the same place that you did realizing that this is not a healthy thing that's going on and they have to go and get the help for themselves you're not going to convince them that they need that because you know as well as I do that narcissists are very crafty and they will paint you to look like oh well she's just exaggerating about me you know she never liked me or he never liked me so there you go that's my answer I wouldn't even waste your time your breath or even your thinking energy to even go over that direction I would let them move on with their poisoned toxic lives um, if you pray, pray for the children that one day their eyes are opened and they get out of the situation or that someone uh, intervenes in some way. If you feel they're being abused, report it. You can do that. Um, but you cannot try to establish relationships when there is a narcissist involved because it will always go by their rules. They are never going to allow you in and it's just not going to happen. And why should you walk on eggshells to have a relationship with somebody when you don't know when they're going to yank it out from under you again. Don't do that to yourself. Just move on. Um, <clears throat> if you have a longing to be around children, go volunteer for a daycare center or something. I know it's not the same as having your loved ones in your life, but like I said, you don't have a right to them. Unfortunately, even grandparents in my state of Illinois, they have no rights to the grandchildren at all. So as a result of it, there were many times I didn't get to see my granddaughter and the other grandmother got to raise her. So it's just how it is. Unfortunately, it's not what you want to hear. I realize that. Um, also in your letter, you were telling the people to leave you alone, but then saying you wanted a relationship with the p other people involved. And it doesn't work that way. Um, I say just leave them all alone. Just... I'm not saying that you're the one that caused any of this because I'm sure you're not but you're not going to force things to be the way that you want them to be and you're just torturing yourself thinking that somehow you can have a relationship with these people over here that are related to the narcissist and the other people involved and it just doesn't work that way so all right that's all I have to say on that topic thanks for watching and um, have a great day till next time bye for now